Hey there guys, Neil here, back with uh, app slash feature review for Android users. And I say app slash feature because it's going to be a way to create your own more detailed version of the Google Fit widget. Um, so basically if you want to have more information than just the number of steps you've taken, uh, progress bar and your goal, and a little bit more customizable or one basically one slightly customizable tool, then um, that's what we're going to do here today. So the first thing you're going to need is to install custom live wallpaper maker KLWP. Um, if you want to build it yourself uh, based on these instructions, you can just install the free version. Um, but I will have a link in the show notes to the file so you can import the same version yourself as well. Um, the other thing you'll need is Google Fit. It's available in the Google Play Store to help manage your steps. So obviously you'll need that in order to um, have it translate over into a custom live wallpaper maker. Um, so as you can see from my home screen, I already have it set up a little bit based on my own home screen. Um, so steps, miles, and calories, and a progress bar based on 10,000 steps. But if you want something that's more familiar and look kind of like the Google Fit widget or want different bits of information or a little bit more of a full screen layout, then um, I'll show you kind of all the or a variety of different options you can use. Um, so with that, I'll, we'll um, open up custom live wallpaper maker. I already have Google Fit installed, so I'm not going to go through that. Um, and then I'm going to start a new um, file. Basically, you can see I already created one earlier. Um, from here, you can set a background color if you so choose. I always um, start off with solid black. Um, that's totally unrelated to what we're doing, but I just start with, off with total black just so I have a baseline if I'm along the way I choose to have some colors. Um, from here, if you are going to use color or choose to use colors, you can do that. Um, you can either set it on a um, item by item basis or set up a global variable. So um, here I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a global color for red um, because of Google Fit Widget is obviously red. And I'll pick it already. I have uh, the material uh, red um, selected from before, but I believe the color itself is like FF. 44236 if memory serves but red to match the Google Fit uh, widget itself. From here we're going to go over to items and we're going to first create a progress bar. Um, from here you are defaulted with some options but we're going to change battery to custom. Your min is going to be zero so every day you start at zero steps and then whatever your, your max is going to be whatever your total number of steps you want to look at every day. So the general guideline is um, 10,000 steps but if you want more or less or just have a personal preference um, or want to mimic uh, what Google Fit says then you can do that as well. But I'm just I just stick to the standard 10,000. So if I do more, great. If I do less, that's fine as well. I mean, not really fine, but if I do less, at least I have a standard um, baseline to use. And then for a level, we're gonna actually switch to like formula mode. So I'm gonna you touch the checkbox, hit the calculator. On the calculator, you're gonna see a bunch of different boxes, but again, you're gonna look for the box that says fitness data, and you're gonna select the one that says steps today. Um, so I've taken 1,538 steps so far. So we have that set up. Everything else I'll keep the same for now. Under color, um, earlier we set the global color for red. So I'm going to set the foreground color to... Um, you can set the color there or if you have, if you want to use your global color, I'm just going to use that. Um, so I'm going to set the global color red. Um, so it pulls that. I only have to set that one so I don't have to forget which one I use, especially if I have a mold a bunch of different colors going on. I have that variable set to use wherever I want. So now my main progress bar is red. And I'll leave the um, background colors the same. From here, I'm going to go to style and I'm going to change it from a linear style to a circular style. Um, and you can set to the size to whatever you want. So um, in this case, um, I'm going to set it. So for my screen size, I can go up to, I think, 700 or 720. Actually, 720, it cuts off a little bit, so I can go up to 700. Um, I think for what text I was playing around with earlier, I can do 660 and have a good uh, width. And then height, you can adjust as you need, but you will have to adjust the size as you go as well. So I'll keep that the same 
um, for now. And then I'm going to make the position center because this is the only thing I'm going to have on my screen for this review. Um, I'm just making it easy for when we add some text uh, later as well. Um, so that's all there is for that for the progress bar. So we have a 10,000 step uh, progress bar with the red marking the progress of how many steps I've taken so far. And then you can do other things like add animations. So if you want to have um, a reaction when you unlock your device and then you wanted to um, do a fade, then you can have a fade as well. I'll, maybe I'll set the duration to be a little bit faster. Um, so it fades in as when I unlock my phone. Uh, from here, I'm going to go back until I get back to my items list. And I'm just going to add a... Now I'm going to add actually a text box. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my position. Oh, actually, sorry, I have to open that up. But um, I'm going to add a text box. I'm going to set the position to center. So since everything is based off the center, I know everything is perfectly centered. Um, I'm going to also set the alignment to center. Um, so that way it's perfectly, that way that's also in the perfect center of my screen. Um, now I'm going to go into the text editor. I'm going to delete what's there. And from here, I'm going to start adding in my fitness data. So, um, I want a couple of different things going on. So the first is the first thing I want is a percentage of the number of steps I've taken. So we'll do steps today. Um, and I, since I'm using the standard 10,000 steps, or my stand, my personal st um, preference and standard of 10,000 steps, um, I'm going to do 10,000 steps. But the problem here is that it does not round to um, two digits. Um, so the problem here, so I'm going to actually have to use a different formula first. And I'll add that in. So I want a um, two decimal point percentage. So if you go and look for um, math utilities, there's a math utility for rounding to two figures. And we're actually going to delete the number that it says. We're going to go back and select um, or go into fitness data again and select steps today. So um, it'll round to two digits. I'm going to go back and add my formula again. And I'm going to, or one extra, and then I'm going to multiply times 100, get my percentage. Uh, and that is actually not working. So let's try it this way. So uh, divided by 10,000 is rounded to two decimal points, so times 100. So we have 15.38. And I'm going to add in the percentage symbol so I know that percentage, that's a, I mean, I know it's a percentage, but I'm going to do percentage and add the word complete. Um, next line, I just want the step number, I want the actual number of steps I've taken. Granted, because it's out of 10,000 even, it's not too hard to figure out, but 10, 1538 steps taken. Um, I want to do my miles, but I want to have uh, miles written out perfect perfectly. So I'm not sure exactly um, how to adjust that distance U to um, say miles. So I'm actually just taking that out of the formula itself and adding the static text of miles. And then you can also add in your active and inactive calories as well. So um, I'm just going to do um, my active calories and write in... Um, uh, calories. So, um, oh, and I forgot to take out a dollar sign. So, um, that's another other thing to think, look at as well as if you forget a or if um, formulas don't carry over, a prior formula might have an extra dollar sign or something along those lines. So now I have my calories set. So now that I have the data I want, I just need to adjust the font size. So, um, 60 should work. Um, 50 might be a better size just in case uh, or as the steps number becomes bigger miles become bigger calories become longer that sort of thing so i don't want an overflow but um the other thing to do is um you can do a fixed font width so um based on where your um circle lies you can adjust that and if you want better spacing then um there's always uh, lines that can be entered uh, between are between all of the everything you do so as you can see the percentage um oh actually i did the uh complete in the wrong spot so i actually need to uh, um, do that and 
and enter here. So now I have that done. So fits in the center. The my width is good. My text is good. But if you want to adjust it as well. So let's say you want something a little bit more fancy. Or you want to have maybe something that looks like um, computer text. Then you can do that. And that's the other thing. And that's the thing that you can play around with. Based on your um, height and width and things like that. So um, 50 is a good thing here. Because my um, circle, my progress bar has an animation. I'll do an animation here as well to stay consistent so when I unlock my device um, I want to do a fade and so that does a fade as well I'll test it out and make sure the speed is good but now I have my own um, data data set going on so um, with that that's pretty much the bulk of it so now I can exit out of custom live wallpaper maker I'll save that and we got ourselves a, a Google Fit widget. So the other thing I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to move. Uh, I'm actually going to move everything to the top and I'm going to compare it to my um, Google Fit widget itself, the, the actual one, and see if there, make sure there's nothing missing, make sure the things that I like are good. Um, because I'm setting the text to the top, I will have to adjust the position a little bit. So make sure the square uh, fits in the circle where I want. So I'll save that. So, oh, and that's the other thing to remember is if you base your progress bar as of the top of your screen, you will have to adjust for your status bar. So for me, I have to adjust it at a position of uh, plus 40. Um, so it lies underneath my uh, notification drawer. So that's set. Once I do that, I can go in and um, scroll down, look for my uh, Google Fit, which I guess I over-scrolled from. Uh, so Fit, um, and then I'll stick it at the bottom of my screen, let it um, do what it needs to do. So um, just to adjust it a little bit. So as you can see, I have a slight, like a purple, pink progress bar rather than red. Steps and total number of steps in the day. So. Um, I have, um, and the bigger you make that widget, you get slightly more screen, um, information, but, um, all you get is your steps and the number, total number of steps that's part of your goal. But by using custom live wallpaper maker, you can add more information as well. And the beauty of custom live wallpaper maker in this case as well is let's say on my text, I want to have a launch Google fit. Um, so I can get and track that information as well. So I can do launch app under the touch settings. I'll select launch app. I'll go down, select Google Fit. Um, so once I've said that, I'll hit save and I'll exit. So now if I want to check out the information that I'm looking at or log my weight or see prior um, fitness information by touching it, now Google Fit's, Fit opens up and I can get that information as well. Um, so that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, want to try, want me to try out some of the other um, fitness data as well. So there's um, all sorts of information that is available. So steps, calories, miles, meters, if you want, active time. So if you want to know how many minutes you're active, um, compare your current today's steps versus yesterday's steps, or your current steps for today versus yesterday. You can do that as well. Walking time. Activity segments, so how many times you um, spent time walking for the day. And that sort of information um, is available, or that's the sort of information you have available in uh, KLWP, Custom Live Wallpaper Maker, related to Google Fit. So, as I was mentioning earlier, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01, where you can DM me there. This review and all reviews can be found on uh, uh, YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And, of course, all links, podcast episodes, social media links, and all of that good stuff can be found on uh, the website at PatelN01.com. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.